Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have something a little bit different for you guys today. I have been thinking a lot about printables. Um, when I first started planning, it's all I used was printables because I couldn't afford the actual kits. Or I wasn't sure if I wanted to invest in actual kits because I didn't know if planning was gonna be something I kept doing. So I didn't know if planning was gonna stick. I didn't want to invest in stickers if I wasn't going to keep doing it. And really I didn't, I couldn't really afford them either. I made room to buy them. PayPal is the worst thing on the entire planet for things like Etsy because it's so easy just to hit PayPal, not have to worry about it for six months and then bam, six months later you have a bill that you haven't paid yet. Which is what happened to me, which is why I have cut back considerably on my purchases to, to what actually comes out of my account now instead of relying on PayPal. So I thought that for a new series, what I could do was show you a couple of printables. Um, one will be free printables you find online, and one will be um, paid for printables that you find on Etsy. To give you kind of an idea of price ranges, quality, and fit. So I'm also going to use my old planner that I got at the mid-year clean out. So when Erin Condren does their mid-year um, discounted planners, when they bring the new ones in for July, so right about May time frame, they get rid of all their old ones and they bring in their new ones. So I have a planner that is only partially used. It is hourly, so it's not quite the same as the non, but as progressed, I was actually getting pretty good at laying stickers down in here so that they actually looked nice and they were, you know, high quality stickers. So my thought process here is I'm going to, like once a month or so, I'm gonna find a printable online that's free, a printable online that's not free, and then I'm going to show them to you and then I'm gonna lay them out in this planner to show you how they lay out. So you see the quality, you can see the fit, you can see if um, it's worth paying for or going to find. I will leave links and prices down below, but I'll also tell you them now. So one of my newly found favorite Etsy shops was, um, Simply Bookish Co. And Simply Bookish Co, the owner has changed and revamped a little bit. She opened a new shop that has just printed kits in it. But Simply Bookish Co is still an active shop and that shop has some printables as well as some physical kits that you can order. These are three of my favorite of her printables. Um, I had already bought them, so there is other ones on her shop, but I didn't want to be overwhelmed with trying to lay them all out in my planner or to give you too many options, and you need to see all of them. She has about 10 different printables in her shop at any given time. So you have, so these are just my three of my favorites, and they are $5 each. She often does have like sales and stuff, but $5 is their normal price. And so each of the kits comes with three pages. You get all your full boxes, your washi, your extra little washi boxes. You get your sidebar, some bildus, some little icons. You get your headers, your littles, your full boxes, your flags, and some deco. And then you also get your glitter headers, your half boxes, quarter boxes, date cover-ups, more sidebar, and your check flags. So these do come with cut files as well. So if you have a silhouette, they're an amazing deal because you get the high quality art that you would pay good money for at any other shop. I know for a fact that um, either Scribble Prints or, and or, and, I think it was and, Glam Planner both use this exact same art and their kits are like 27 to $30. This is five. So you either have to cut it out yourself or use your silhouette, but I think it's a very good deal for, the, for what you get. 
I thought I would show you a couple other ones so you can get a couple, get some ideas of just how these look. The only problem for me personally is I don't have a silhouette, so I'm gonna have to cut these out and there's no like guide, guidelines in here to actually work off of. Same with here, there's no guidelines. I have some ideas of how I want to work it, but I haven't done it yet. Um, I have these on glossy paper because glossy seems to pick up colors better than the matte does, but I do also have matte paper, which works great for printables too. I just happened to pull out what I thought was the best quality paper for what I was doing. This is one of my favorites and I was really, really excited that she had this one because just like the other two, all of the big shops also had this um, same papers and I wanted to buy all of the shops and all of their papers, but that wasn't really logical. So I think that these are a wonderful, wonderful, addition to my collection and they're mine forever so I can print them off as often as I want. So those were $5 each and they are available on Etsy and I will make sure to put the um, information in the description box. These however are from Printable Boutique and there is not a ton of options on her website. She definitely has a good dozen or so. So I picked out for one that I'd previously printed and then, one, and then two others that I printed last night. Um, her sticker, because stickers are amazingly beautiful. And again, these ones are actually formatted for the silhouette. So they do come with cut files. And these are free. So I will make sure I leave this one below as well. But I think that it's a very pretty kit. It comes with two pages. So you have all of your full boxes, your half boxes, your washi, and then you have some extra little things. This would not work on a Cricut because Cricut papers are only this big instead of this big, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get a silhouette over a Cricut because you get so much more usable space. For a Cricut, you only get to use about this much of the paper and this much of the paper. So you have all of this that's unusable space. So this format will not work on a Cricut, but it is specially formatted for the silhouette. And then on the second page, you have some um, sidebar stuff. You've got your full boxes, some check flags. You have your littles and your, so your littles and your headers, as well as some extra little washi pieces. Again, this one does not come guided out for you to be able to cut easily by hand. But I'm gonna figure out some way to make this work. I do have a, a paper cutter, but it's one of the slide paper cutters that doesn't work very well. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna work that just yet. But this was one of the more recent ones that she, that she had put up and she did it for when Beauty and the Beast came out. So it is several months old, but I still think it's definitely worth a look at. This is the second kit that I wanted to show you guys. Just to kind of give you an idea, there's a wide range of different things. Here we have guides. So this is the same basic format. These ones are not in a cut file. I think you can get them in a cut file though, but I already had this one printed so I didn't have to reprint it. But as you can see, these ones are lined so that they do give you a marker on to which to cut. And they're basically the same layout. They're a little bit different because this is a newer, the this one was a newer format and this one's an older format, but you still get the same basic gist of it. And then here's the last one. Um, I ha again had this one on my computer already. I just hadn't used it yet, but I did check and these are all still on her website. I have one, um, one freebie place that I really, really like, but her stock on her website is really limited, so I'm not gonna show you that one. This one, however, even though I, I, bought the, I bought these, I downloaded these last year, they are still available now. And so you can ha go back and check. There are seasonal stickers in here like fall, like Christmas, and you are able to print them as you go. This one is gonna have the same format as the other one because they are the little bit older ones. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to put you on hold for probably a couple of days and I'm going to lay these all out in my old hourly since i have a good chunk of free pages in here pretty much from here 
back. I have a couple, like I laid down. This is another printable that I will probably show you later on. But um, for the most part, from May to January are empty, unless I was playing with it. Like some of these I just played with. I had some old glitches that I was just in the mood to put down stickers and so I would play with. But for the most part, these are all empty. So I'm going to lay all of them down and then I will show them to you in a bit. So it's gonna be a couple of days for me, but you will see them in a few seconds. Hey guys, so I am back with the layouts that I did on all of those six kits. So this was the Simply Bookish Co. And the only thing I can say is that there was no lines to make this part easy cutting. So I ended up taking a header from back here, took headers from here and laid them over it and then cut them that way. And it seems to have worked pretty well. The other critique I have is that this tall box is taking the place of two boxes. And so there was no box to put up here. So I ended up using some washi for that. The other thing I noticed was that normally I um, set my printer for 100%. So that way they should supposed to come out the right size. These didn't. If you notice, they're a little bit longer on the bottoms and they're a little bit wide in the box. Um, these boxes should fit like this. There should be a small white space in between the boxes because the box is a little bit wider than your normal Erin Condren. And so the fact that these completely fill the box means that they are a little bit too wide. So I don't know if that was a me issue or a her issue. But either way, I think they came out beautiful. So the next kit from the same shop, I had the exact same critique with as far as the width of the boxes. But other than that, I think that the kit came out beautifully. Um, I think that, that having a silhouette would be a wonderful addition for this because it just make it easier. And then here's the last one. The last one seemed to fit a little bit better. Not perfect, but still it fit a little bit better. And of course, this is your big double box, but she, she added in an extra one like she didn't do on the other one. So there was plenty of boxes to hit all of the squares. So for the next one, the printable boutique, here is the um, layout. I accidentally got a wrinkle right down here and I couldn't get it out. The only problem I had with this one is, is if you notice here's a lot of white space because um, it didn't, they, they, she didn't take into consideration that if you don't cut the whole thing out individ to individual pieces, it doesn't fit quite right. Like right here, these ones cut fine because they have the spaces like you would normally be able to put them directly into the box. But with these ones, if you want to transverse the whole section, it's going to come out short, um, which isn't a big deal. I'm sure you can cut them into pieces and then space them out. But I didn't want to cut them because I thought it'd be easier and it was a pretty little scene. So I left it alone and it came out too short. But other than that, the spacing on all the other boxes is wonderful. The spacing for the bottom is wonderful. There's not as many stickers with these ones, and so you could you don't have quite as many options. These ones I had tons of headers and stuff left over. And these ones I just had headers left over for the most part, and a little bit of deco. But for the most part, I used the majority of the stickers on this. I would show you what I have left over, but it's a big mess because it's all cut up. Um, then I have this one. I kind of played around a little bit. Again, there's less stickers to choose from as far as like the half boxes go, but you do have plenty of um, flags as well as the check flags, which I didn't use in any of them because, well, by the time I got to this point, I was asking for help for um, cutting out stickers because it was obnoxious trying to cut them all out. <laughs> Maybe I should have given myself more time than a couple of days. And then this is the last one, which is probably my favorite of the group. I think it turned out really cute. Um, the little washi strips, there was tons of them, so that helps fill in some of the blanks. There was lots, uh, there was, not lots, there was a decent amount of flags to choose from. But overall, I think that they turned out really good. So you can get an idea of what the kits look like laid down now, and know that there are some very valid 
$5 and free options that I've been able to show you today. Um, I will do another one of these next month and show you six more kits. I'll talk to you ladies later. Bye.